Okay, we're on a 2013 Camaro, and the battery was disconnected. And now every time you start, or every time you get in it, you start the vehicle up, you're presented with that. Hopefully you can see that. Open and close driver window. Now I've done that I don't know how many times. We'll do it again. Okay, window's now open. Window is now closed. Nothing's changed. Turn the vehicle off. Turn it back on. Still get the same thing. So, luckily, we're here on the Altel, so we're going to see. Uh, let me turn the key on. Yeah, key's, key's still on. Okay. So let's go here, we'll go to uh, GM. I have to go, I have to do the auto scan this way because my top part of my digitizer is not working. I, I need to send this in and they're gonna replace the digitizer but I just, I can't be without it because I use this all the time. Trying to put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, we're just going to go to hot functions, and uh, most of the time, window calibrations are under hot functions, so we'll just try to save time and uh, go that route. So, wind, door, and roof. So, we'll see. Okay, we got windows here. Driver window motor. Uh, left rear driver window motor. We'll hit that and see what happens. Okay, the test will display express down, express up buttons to, okay. Only when the vehicle is equipped with express down and express up function, which this is. Express up and down is when you can hit the button all the way down and let go of it, and it'll continue to roll all the way down. And then if you pull all the way up on the button and let go of it, it'll automatically drive all the way up. Um, express down. So the window's rolling down. Express up. And now our uh, symbology on the instrument cluster is now gone. Now, don't ask me why that happens sometimes. Sometimes you can do the, uh, you can try to do a window calibration using the car itself, and sometimes it'll work. And uh, sometimes it just doesn't. And you got to use a scan tool. I don't understand why uh, that is. But uh, that's just the way it is sometimes. So it looks like, uh, in fact, let's go ahead and let's just check it. So I'm going to, let's see. I'm going to turn the key off. Let's go ahead and open the door as though we're getting out of the vehicle. And I'm going to close the door. Put the key back in the ignition. And let's make sure that that does not come back. Okay, we got our speedo, so we're all good to go. So just a quick uh, window calibration using the Autel scan tool. So and obviously, you know, you, you see here the left rear window motor. Well, obviously this car doesn't have a left rear or a right rear window motor. Um, so those obviously aren't going to do anything. Now, what's weird is that the passenger window also has the express up and down. But for some reason, with just disconnecting the battery and connecting it back, uh, the passenger window did not have a problem. It, uh, we never got any symbology uh, or issues with the passenger window. It still works just fine. And the funny thing is the, the 
driver's window actually worked as 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 required you know as uh it was supposed to it, it would express down express up uh it would manual down and you could stop it where you, wherever you wanted and back up but for some reason the the computer just wouldn't uh wouldn't be happy with with it so the the scan tool luckily came through for us anyway that's about all i had for you on this one uh just keep that in mind if you have an issue then uh, you may have to have a scan tool take care of it. Anyway, I'm out. You guys take care.